Hello and welcome back to another video. This is me, Crashy, here today doing a bit of a tutorial on something that I did long ago for Call of Duty and it actually was uh, fairly successful. So I figured I'm going to do it again today um, for Gears of War because this is actually very relevant. So you see me holding my controller and you've seen already in the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Claw and what the advantages of playing Claw is. Now, this is your standard controller setup and this is great and all. But when you go to wall bounce, you got to pull off the thumbstick. So you can't wall bounce and turn at the same time as well. I mean, it's just it's just not as easy. I mean, you can do it, but it's not as fluid. I mean, I'm, I'm still actually able to do it kind of okay, but it, it's just not great. And all the while, you can't aim. So playing claw is going to essentially slide your right hand down, and your middle finger will take the place for aiming and reloading, as where your index finger will play on all your face buttons. So you can see I can run... I can reload, I can bounce, if I wasn't bad at it, bounce a little bit, change weapons with my left hand, and so you're essentially just cutting down the time on everything you want to do, and gives you a lot more kind of like playroom here to be more proficient, keep your thumbstick on your, um, or your thumb on your thumbstick when you're trying to aim, and just overall be a little bit better so that's the theory behind it essentially like I said you just want to slide your right hand down and it, it's definitely gonna take some getting used to um, you know because you're essentially using your middle finger for something you never use it for and this is definitely a crampy uh, position for uh, for your index finger so um, I definitely say give it a try if, if it's not something you can get into I mean scuff paddles are always a definite good alternative to playing default and and having your thumbs on the thumbstick while trying to bounce around or even I believe tournament controls and alternate uh, give some pretty cool uh, schemes so take a look at it see what you uh, see what you think and I'm gonna go ahead and follow this up with a gameplay I had playing claw so you can just kind of see how a full game would go um, you know playing this way and, and how to apply it so hope you guys enjoy the video thank you so much for checking it out and I'll see you guys next time
Thank <laughs> you. 